My brothers and sisters, this is Apostle Patrick Antoine presenting you this morning the message of the Lord. And God said that he, he will do exactly everything that you ask him to do. Whatever you ask him to do, he will do it. We are in the season when he did a marvelous thing for Joshua. But before we enter the message, we are going to light up a candle, sound the shofar, and ring the bell so we may advance before the throne. And we are going to ask God to bless his message with the Holy Spirit. So we may understand it. And also, we are going to tell him to bless those who will watch the video, share the video, and to give the Holy Spirit to those who will leave comment to edify those who will watch the video. So, without delay, we are going to the heart of the message. And uh, let's go to the scripture right now. We are going to read Joshua chapter 10 and verse 14. And let's read that together. There has never been a day like it before or since. A day when the Lord Listen to a man, to a human being. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. So we are going to explain the story and let's go to it. So Joshua was fighting, you know, the five kings. And he ended up, you know, to a point, he needed the Lord's assistance so he can finish with them, with the Amorites. On the day, let's read verse 12. On the day, the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel. Joshua said to the Lord, said to the Lord, listen to this, in the presence of Israel, this is an odd, very odd request, son stand still over Gibeon. And the Lord said, you know, don't waste time with a lot of scripture today. Tell that you know, when you pray God, you already ask God for something. You have to comment that thing. He said to God, I would like for the son to stand still. And God caused him to say to the son, son, stand still over Gibeon. And also he wanted the moon. To stay over the valley of Ejalon. And he said. And you moon. Over the valley of Ejalon. If you grasp that. After you ask God for something. Listen to me. And this is the shock ma for today. I'm going to teach you as the praying apostle how to pray. When you pray for something, you finish to pray for something, you have to call that thing that you pray for into your existence. So let's say you ask God for a thousand dollars. You have to say thousand dollars. Come to me now. A million, if you have faith for a million, a million dollars, come to me now. 
This is the same thing. He wanted the sun to stand still. Now he said, because, you know, let's go back. So you, so you may understand me here. On the day the Lord gave the Amorite over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord, Joshua said to the Lord, so, and then, in the presence of all Israel, so, he already asked God for whatever he asked God for, and now, in the presence of the people, he turned around and said, Son, stand still over Gibeon. You already asked God. Now let's do the experiment together. Write down right now with me. Write down right now what you ask God for. And ask God for it. And then turn around. And then turn around. And commit that thing into, into existence. So this is how us prophets we do things. We go ahead and 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 you know when somebody said pray for me, pray for me, pray. I go around and said God, this person said he, hey, this person wants some. God sometimes turn around and said I'm not giving to this person. This person is rebellious. This person is filthy. This person is this. this person. And then I said God, let's do an experiment. And I said, all right, give it to this person and let's see how this person will. Oh, no, he's going to curse you to your face. But, but, but I'm not doing it. I'm not. I said, God, please do it. And then after I do that, that uh, back and forth with the Lord. And then I said, okay, may this come to this person's life. Bam. And then the person said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They rejoice for a few days and all that, praising the Lord. And then pff, what the Lord said. <laughs> true to form. <laughs> true to form. <laughs> they ended up disobeying. That's the same thing. You know, if you know that secret, you don't have to even call me. You have to know and to know and to know and to know what you say. You utter into existence after you. Because Jesus gave us the secret here. Jesus said that, you know, I only say what I see that my father is doing. I only do what I see my father is doing. That means there is a plot with God first. And then call it into existence. When, when Jesus is going out there healing people. You already see it. That God allowed permission granted. And boom he uttered. And said that this woman be healed. <laughs> because God. He's always, he said, I never say anything. <laughs> that, you know, there is no disagreement between me and God. Amen and amen. And then, you know, he, and he explained, he said, so the sun stood still and the moon, verse 13, and the moon stopped. Let's go back. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped. Till the nation avenge itself on its enemies. <coughs> as it is written in the book of Jasher. So, it's not only in the Bible. It is also reported in the book of Jasher. The sun stop. In the middle of the sky and delay going down about a full day. Amen and amen. So that's it. That's it. If God can allow and change the order of things for Joshua just to practically answer the prayer of Joshua. So, guess what? God can do the same thing for you. My brothers, my sister. And, uh, and, I'm, I, and I must say this. That, you know, the shock ma for today, January 13, the third day of Shabbat, 
de chaque ma chaque matou day is telling you that the Lord will do everything you ask him for and this is the season and the time when you when he practically listen to Joshua and cause whatever Joshua has to come to pass so to it a manifestation of your blessing the shokma of the Lord is telling us the wisdom of the Lord is telling you to do you must ask and then after you ask what you do you proclaim exactly when you proclaim exactly you 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 proclaim you visualize and you realize exactly what you want he proclaim it and he see it come to pass like for you you can visualize it today you you ask and you proclaim it and you said come to me now whatever if it's money it's money if it's a brand new house you call that house into existence if it's a brand new car you call it into existence you can see the car you can see the color of the car you can see the house if it's a brick house if whatever you know a house with siding you see it and and it will come to pass and then guess what since we are in shabbat the spirit of thanksgiving must be in you you go around and thank god for it like i said to you my brothers my sisters you must you know from january 11 until the end of january always as thanking god thanking god because the 11th month in the calendar of god shabbat it is the month of also of thanksgiving because god will give you the 1000 fold blessing and and then he will allow you to access your promised land you know there is a promised land with your name on it to go to and then you will get exactly what you ask the lord to do and he will do it for you and especially you know the 13th day of shabbat uh, of, of january january 13 the third day of shabbat fall on a sabbath day so you must be at rest and at peace and and know with all your heart whatever you ask god will come to pass today exactly you know and 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 you see uh, is is the 13th day you see number four plus the way uh, the first month right there you see number five and also you see uh, the third day of shabbat and and shabbat is the 11th month you see the number five that means you must you know in your sense your five senses you must feel it and you have five fingers to wheel it out with your hand whatever you want to come to pass this is the shock map for you for you to retain that today is a special day and 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 uh, everything is lined up for you to receive exactly what you ask god for let's return to the message right now so the lord is telling you you are going to gain exactly what you ask him for it may be a big thing it may be a small thing but whatever you ask god for he will do it in yesterday in yesterday shokma you have to be careful when you reach the promised land because a lot of people will be in fear of you and use a ruse for you to be on their side you have to be aware of that you know they entered that war because of the gibbonite when you start reading the beginning of the chapter you know the gibbonite you know practically conned the israelite to to make a a a, a truce saying do not attack us do not attack us we will be your ally uh, you know we are from a far country and the israelite without cons uh, consulting with god agree to have the gibbonite uh you know uh, to make a pack with the Gib gibbonite and then the rest of the people the other five kings they were upset and they turned around 
and they turn around and they said, you know what? We cannot allow that to, uh, to happen, you know? And uh, you can see right now in the beginning of the chapter, and they said, now Ad Adoni Zedek, king of Jerusalem, heard that Joshua had taken Ai and totally destroyed it, doing to Ai what his skin, what uh, uh, as he had done to Jericho and its king, and that the people of Gibeon had made a treaty of peace with Israel and had become their allies. And then they turned around and said, uh, and said, you, you know, so, uh, drop on verse 3, so Adonizedek, king of Jerusalem, appealed to Oam, king of Hebron, to Piram, king of Jarmut, Japhia, king of Lachish, and Debir, king of Eglon. You know, he was king and he called Adonizedek, called former king, and this is how Israel ended up fighting with five kings, the five kings of the Amorites, and get victory over them. So he ended up working for the Israelites to get more territory in a, 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 in a matter, you know, very quickly. You, you would say, when you enter the promised land. When you enter the promised land, you must be careful because people will try to practically get you off your agenda a little bit. And that's what happened with a, a Gibeon. And, uh, but he ended up working for the Israelites. So what the message is telling you, we must concentrate on this part. That what we see the Lord said to Joshua in verse 8, he said, do not be afraid of them. Whether they're five kings or ten kings, I have given them into your hands. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. And then verse 10 said, the Lord threw them into confusion before Israel. And then, you know, so Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely at Gibeon. But the part that you must retain is this, that whatever you ask God, God will do it for you. And then, you, all you have to do is go and call this thing into existence and you shall have exactly what you ask for. This is the word of the Lord for you being proclaimed in your hearing in Jesus name. Amen.